Okay, so for module eight for sociology, social change refers to an alteration in the social order of society. Social change may include changes in nature, social institutions, social behaviors, or social relations. Um, there are three major theories. Um, one is evolutionary. This is based on assumption that societies gradually change from simple to complex forms. Um, this rests on both, both cross-culture and historical evidence. Um, then there is functionalist, which is based on equilibrium, which is basically the state of stability or balance. Then there is conflict, which is influenced by economic base of society. Um, for the first question, society has changed um, majorly within the past decade, and this mainly has to do with technology. It's definitely grown in the last 10 years, um, so, and it has a huge impact on society, obviously. Um, medical technology has had a huge growth for our population. Um, also in the United States, our baby boomers, our senior generation has had a humongous change on our population as well. Um, but the mass media has grown to the fact that it is all over social media and the internet. Um, with technology, we're always on our phones or devices, constantly seeing what the media has to portray. Um, so that definitely has a huge impact on society as well. Um, the physical environment has decreased so much that most natural disasters are to deal with us and what we are doing to the world. Um, there is only so much CO2 that we can be putting into the environment and we go above and beyond every day of this. Um, it's something that definitely needs to be fixed, and the population as a whole needs to come together to fix those things, or else our world is going to just get destroyed. Um, and that has definitely been something that is talked about within the last five to ten years of how we do need to make these changes. Uh, one being with the oil spill. Um, that was a huge thing, and... Um, a huge movement, um, and we've still yet to change that, which is really sad. Um, but back to the physical environment, um, the extinction rates are going up so bad to the point that dozens of species are going extinct each day, just by us doing terrible things to our environment. Um, so sad. Like, that is worse than the dinosaurs' extinction, like, what we are doing to in the environment. Um, the next question is the information revolution was and still has on society. And that is just, it has made it much easier to obtain information and for the people to have more knowledge on the information at hand. Um, this will help in the future with a lot of revolutions that may occur and our thought processes on that. Um, the modernization changed under, um, that has changed um, under developed nations. Um, this has to deal with technology and the resources that are used, because a lot of resources that we use today are lies, they're not portrayed the right way because mass media lies a lot. Um, so in order to have this change be good, they have to realize what is true and what is not, um, and that will help change the underdeveloped nation. Um, some types of social movements that have occurred in history. When and why did they occur? Um, one of the big movements and that still occurs today is the women's rights movement. We've heard so much about this movement within the last 10 years. 
especially in the last 10 years. It has been occurring since 1848, and we've still yet to see the changes that we want to see. Um, and this just has to do with equal rights. Like, women and men should have equal rights. There should be no reason that we don't. There should be no reason that a woman holds the same job as a man but gets paid less for doing the same job. It just makes no sense. Like, okay, yeah, men are stronger and their ability to do more things and that ability and the physical ability, understandable. But when you are holding a corporate job and you're just sitting at your desk all day doing paperwork and blah, 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 whatever else you got to do, make your phone calls, whatever. There's no reason a man should get paid more than a woman doing that same exact job. No reason at all. Sure, in construction, understandable to an extent, yeah. But a corporate job makes no sense. Um... So yes, that is a big movement still presently. Um, the anti-tax movement, which started in 1765 and is still in the present. Like we are still working to establish fair taxation. And that started with the British. Um, we are 99% there in the books, um, but still not 100%, and that's where we want to be. Um, the state's right movement was another one, which occurred in 2008 and is still present. So you see an occurring subject right here is that these movements are still in effect and we are still working hard to get what we want out of them. And the state's right movement is the challenge, the authority to challenge the authority of the central government. Um, so, there's that, um, like I said, we are still working to make changes for these movements, and we are still striving as the people to make these changes. A change I would really like to see, though, is our physical environment change, and us put forth the effort to do something about that. So, these movements, totally understandable of why we are fighting for these rights. I totally get that, but the physical environment and how our world is going to change and live is way more important.